kind of inseparable guys. I just feel so connected with food all the time. And probably that's the reason anywhere I get to hear that there's some good food served, I go there running first and probably I'll be the first to reach to get a taste of the bite. Well friends, and probably that's the reason I've come here today at Ramadar Resort which happens to be one of my favorite places in Cochin to grab a bite because they come up with such innovative and different cuisines and different preparations all the time that just leaves you spellbound. So today here at the Ramda Resort, I have my favorite chef sitting right next to me. He is the corporate FMB director as well as chef of Ramada Resort. Hi, Mr. Ramo Bakla. How, How are you? you? All right. How Welcome are you? Welcome back <laughs> to our show. And as I always keep mentioning, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. It's our pleasure so, too. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so now I can see something really colorful kept on the table. Yes. So like last time, like our last episode, is this also going to be something healthy and uh, nutritious? It is of course very nutritious, but okay. I want to tell fully healthy. Okay. But to some extent it is healthy. Okay. Uh, but more of nutritious. More nutritious. More okay. Nutritious. That, that's a good news. <laughs> so what are we starting with? Uh, this is the salad which you have done. It's an assorted vegetable okay. and more of zucchini. Oh, zucchini. zucchini as well. Zucchini okay. is there, cabbage is there, mm -hmm. green pepper, yellow pepper, this oh. capsicum, okay. carrot is there. This all is done with a kind of dressing mm -hmm. which is more healthier. Okay. But when you hear the name, you may not feel healthy, but it is a healthy, it's a healthy dressing. It's okay. mayonnaise, but it's oh, a wow. veg mayonnaise. Oh, veg mayonnaise. Veg okay, mayonnaise. Okay. So yeah. again, it is a healthy one. Okay. So this is the one you should start with. Okay. I've given in a different way so that, you know, if you have this as a full meal, this will be the major portion major which you have. Okay, so, so it fills your stomach. Fills yeah. <laughs> then you go with the fried. Okay. Then with the dessert. So it's quite thoughtful. Yeah. Like a lot of thought process has gone yes, into the preparation. Yes. So, um, chef, you know these days zucchini is catching up because a lot yes. of people are unaware of what exactly zucchini. Is. It's it's a, it's a summer squash, right? It's a squash. Yeah. So a lot of people are not very aware. So how nutritious you think this particular? Um, you know, zucchini is okay. for our health. Okay, this is one of the stable food in abroad. When abroad, we go yeah. abroad, and you can find it one yeah. of the uh, stable food yeah. in abroad. Like Everything uh, has It's an English it. vegetable. Yeah. Basically, it's not much grown in India. Mm -hmm. But in abroad, this plays a key role. Like, right, you know, let yeah. it be for the main course or for the salads right. or even we do make deserts out of it. Oh, With zucchini, okay. we make even deserts out of it. So it's multi purpose. Multi purpose. Yeah. So, and this is called as the? It is called the zucchini and assorted. Vegetable, coleslaw. Coleslaw, okay. And uh, coleslaw, as you all know, is nothing but a uh, salad with shredded it's, cabbage. It's a mayonnaise, yeah. It's yeah. shredded. Basically, because of the shredded vegetable, we have named it like it's that. Coleslaw, yes. Mayonnaise. So, and mayonnaise, as the name strikes, I'll be very happy because I love everything in white, you know. <laughs> so, but uh, I think even the eggless mayo, the vegetable yeah. may also taste good. Yeah, it tastes good. Good, it, yeah. This, that's what I've used. I've used very little. The quantity, okay. what I've used, you can see it. You, know, you cannot find anything much white. I've right. used a very, very minimal amount amount of mine yes, yes, yeah. It's not very difficult to actually follow a healthy diet. People really think, you know, it's so difficult, you know, you can't have uh, like uh, food which has a content and all that, but it's really not that difficult. It's Even not. if you love rice, like me, I really love rice. But if you want to cut out that, then probably you should go for a brown rice. Yeah. That is also very healthy. So now let me taste the Please. salad. Yes, and I think I'll start with this because I said I love everything in white. <laughs> Magnificent. I love that crunchy feeling which this shredded vegetable gives you into the mouth and the taste of mayo. Aha, it's really yum. An amazing way to start your meal. So, uh, chef, after this, what am I having next? Well, next you can go for the fried one. This is mm, this is a non veg. <laughs> my favorite. Anything this is non veg, I love. Yeah. <laughs> this is seafood, in fact. Okay. But you can't make out, right? You it's all stuffed it inside. Yeah. And it's with puppet, the regular puppet, Kerala puppet. Oh, wow. Can anyone tell that this is actually the typical Kerala puppet and there is some fish stuffing gone into the making? That's Chef Ramu for you because he comes with this crazy stuff and the taste is, oh my God, spellbound you will be. So, what is this called as? Uh, we call it the seafood. Results. Results. Okay. Results. Results, is, results basically is basically because of the shape and when it's deep fried in the shape, we call the results. Okay, but the typical result is a Latin. Uh, it is a Latin. Yeah. It is here in India. If you see, you can see it in Goa. Goa. We do a lot okay. of this result, result kind of thing. Otherwise, yeah. it is a Latin word which word. has been used. Yeah. So, is this um, 
uh, healthy considering it's peppered and it's deep fried and see we should think and eat it as healthy exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the mind it's all, all in, the, in mind. the mind yeah so friends this is the seafood risol so i will have this i think it has a slight indian touch because of the pepper yeah, yeah. Pepper. even so, the mix has a touch of uh, Indian. Indian, okay. The only the uh, seafood. It's a mixed seafood. Mixed it's seafood, not just yeah. the uh, fish alone. Right. It's a mixed seafood, seafood what we've yeah. used. So you've kept the Indian uh, in, taste the, buds in uh, exactly line, the yeah. entire mixture of this is of an Indian flavor. Yeah. It's South Indian flavor. That's why it's been garnished with uh, the chili curry and curry leaves, leaves and yeah. you get a total Indianized flavor. So this is on behalf of all of you out there. I'm gonna have a bite. Mmm, very nice. Absolutely yummy because of the pepper, it gives you that crunchiness yeah. and seafood. Yeah. So what's next, chef? I'm done well, with the main course. Well, Starter. next I think you should go for the uh, dessert, and this again is one way in now uh, kind of diet food. Oh. But it's a dessert. Wow. <laughs> See, you know, I read somewhere dessert. Is, I mean, stressed is dessert spelled backwards. Exactly. I mean, so you know, and I keep having this problem, okay, chef, that every time I'm stressed out and stuff, I really feel happy having something sweet. Yeah. Is that because of the happy hormone getting Maybe, released? Exactly. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. And so, that is the time when you eat more of desserts. Exactly. Also. That doesn't happen to you also. It, it normally happens. No. <laughs> okay. Normally happens. Fine. The happiest moment always is sweet. No? So yeah. we end up eating more eating of sweet. Eating more is sweet. So what do you call this? Well, this uh, being the mango season, okay. I've designed this one with the mango. Okay. And little bit of diet consciousness also is there in this. Okay. I've used a hung curd, the curd, basically okay, the which healthy, curd, yeah. which is the yogurt, mm -hmm. which is again, you know, grind out, the water is waste taken out okay. and it's done with that, with little bit of uh, seaweed. Seaweed, oh nice. Okay. Seaweed is used in okay. this. And mango. This basically looks... Basically mango pulp is used in Very this. enticing and appealing, yeah. so I just can't wait to dig into this. This is all for those um, mango loving people, they will love this. Yum is not the word, mangolicious. It's totally, totally, totally yummy. And I'm sure all of you who love mango would love this. And what's the best news? This is healthy as hell. Healthiest. Health. It so has nobody, more of curd. Yeah, a lot of thought process has gone into the making of this, <laughs> friends. And uh, every single dish that I've had is totally delectable. And um, what do I say? It's, it's, it's amazing and finger licking good. So it's a gastronomical delight always when I come and be here at Ramadan Resort and okay. as the place is so famous for its serene beauty and um, the food itself says it all. So it's an amazing experience always to come here and always to meet you. So Chef, thank you for being here and being a part of the show and enlightening us that healthy food also is um, really yummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much Chef. Thank Glad you. to meet you. Thank you. So friends, time has come to wind up this episode of Good Life. I'm sure you love the episode and the tips that we shared with you through our three segments. So see you soon next week. But till then, keep it stylish, be happy and keep smiling always.